Hi guys, we're back again. It's uh, Tim from Cradlays, and today what we're going to do is try to uh, show you how to make a cake topper, but this time using a icon file in SVG format. <laughs> Hi guys, we're back again and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to open up a, f uh, a icon file out of a website called The Noun Project and uh, it's a good little website so what you should do is uh, probably sign up to it and you can get some free vectors as long as you uh, uh, quote the person who created it um, and then also uh, for the paid subscriptions you can actually um, own the files outright. So what we'll do is we'll head over here and we'll open up, uh, we'll start off by opening up Inkscape. So we we'll just go Inkscape. And there's our Inkscape, it's just like for it to load. And there it is. And then we'll also open up uh, Chrome. And we'll just type in the noun project. There it is there. And what we're gonna do is we'll, we're gonna make this one um, a, a birthday topper with um, a character of like a bear or something. So uh, we'll just type in, oops, we'll just type in the search bar in here. So just type in bear and press enter. There we go. And we've got a whole bunch of different icons here. So what we're going to do is we'll choose this one up here. So just click on it again and press get this icon. We're going to do it as a basic download and continue and we'll download it as an SVG file. Uh, so you can get PNG, but what you'll need to do is um, vectorize all this. So you're better off um, using the SVG because it's already done. And that way you just press noun. Now what we do is it says just downloaded down into here. We just pick that up and drop that down here into our Inkscape and just let it go there. Now we'll grab one of these corners and we'll just press control just to bring that up. As you can see there, it's got the uh, created by, and we've just seen the quote and who that was created by. Um, but for the moment, what we're gonna do is remove that. So we'll just press ungroup. And we'll select these ones here and press delete. Select this one and press delete. Um, and then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna grab our text tool. And we'll just type in happy and birthday. Like this. Grab that tool up there. So now we can just enlarge this. So press control. Because if we don't press control, it can vary. So press control and then that way it locks it in. And we'll just bring it up to somewhere about there. And the same with happy. Press control, locks it in. So what we'll do is we'll just choose a font and we'll move this one down here. And we'll just choose something like probably. Uh, Maybe one of these ones. Yep, that one looks pretty good. And we'll just do the same thing with this one and just select on there and press apply. There we go. And what we need to do is control to zoom in, to control on um, the mouse wheel. And we just move that up into here somewhere. And do the same with this one. We'll move that probably back here and I'll grab this arrow, press control to lock it in and might just probably put it there somewhere I'm guessing uh, we might actually move it over a bit we might put it in there just that way it touches up into there and we've got it so it's all touching in through there looks like all that's joined together this one here is except for the B so we we'll do is just double click on this so that way it brings that text tool up select that one and then we go up in here and we just move this one here across so that one there so move that across probably about five. Press enter. Oops, that's going down. Uh, this one here. So five, enter. That's gonna be pretty good there because we might need to thicken that up. And what we need to do is press control and we'll zoom in a bit further with that mouse wheel. And we'll actually zoom right into this little part here. And we'll just grab this rectangle tool and we'll grab hold of it from about there and down to there and let go. And that tells us it's going to be only 0.8 of a mil high, which is not going to be nowhere near thick enough. 
Uh, so what we need to do is we'll just delete that one and press control and zoom back out and we'll just grab this tool press select on that text and we'll just go to path and then we'll go down to dynamic offset and we'll just grab hold of this little um, node here and we'll just pull that up just by a touch which I'm thinking that might be probably thick enough so we'll just grab the the rectangle tool again control and scroll back in and just make sure that's going to be thick enough which is 1.5 mil which is plenty thick enough so just press delete scroll back out um, come down here with the tool and that node should be up on there if not we'll just grab path we'll press uh, uh, dynamic offset or control J and then we just do the same thing there and just move it up to about it's just as thick. Um, it's slightly thicker, so what we'll do is just scroll in a little bit and just bring that thickness down to right about the same thickness. Which looks about right there. And we can even do the same for the bear, just to make sure that that's all going to be thick enough so we don't have any problems. Um, we might just press on dynamic offset, there we go and just move that out just a touch thicker like that that looks about thick enough let's go back to the, just the grab tool and we'll scroll out we might move might just select all and move this over onto the page a bit more actually move it right off the page because it's just a bit easier over here and what we might do is because everything's thickened up a bit we might actually move this over a tiny bit um, actually we might just move the bear back a bit because then that way we don't have to move both of those and that's probably going to be right there all right so what we've got to do is just uh, grab the uh, rectangle tool and we're just going to make a little spike so our spike is going to be about uh, Select this one up here, so 5mm wide and around 75mm tall, like that. Then what we'll do is just press object uh, or path and object to path and then we can just select on this uh, selector tool up here and about halfway down somewhere, just double click, double click and make these nodes, doesn't matter if they're a little bit off, so double click, press select on that one and delete select on that one and delete select on this one and press straighten line and then press on that one there and press straighten line so there we go now we've got a nice little spike and we can move that up into place probably around there somewhere we just control and move back out again uh, we might even move it onto this one just because it might fit better there oops it's clicking everywhere so just scroll right in and just let it sit down in about there somewhere so control scroll back out that looks a little bit nicer so there we go that looks like the finished cake topper what we'll do then is just select all and press uh, union so we don't want to just combine it because that'll leave all the lines between all the letters so what we want to be able to do is just press union and then that will uh, if we just get rid of the fill press on stroke add a stroke line and make the stroke line on the style to be probably 0.01 of a mil press enter and you can't even see anything so there we go, so just put a 0.1 of a mil so you can see it, now if I press control, move in and there you go, you can see everything's all uh, nicely connected and everything except for this eye so to be able to fix that one there, we'll just move all the way in on it the selector tool up here and select all of this grab a hold of this and move it right down, make sure it's nicely cleared down in past here and once that's cleared another it's going to have enough meat in there we're going to just press control and zoom out and what we'll do is we'll press path and we'll press union again and then that will just um, fix that on there up so we just press on that tool you see that it's joined it all up in there 
So now if I press control, zoom back out. And there you go. So just check everything again and make sure that it's all connected everywhere. We're not gonna have any loose ones. And that's it. So what we do is we're ready to be able to print it now. So I'll just send it over to the laser and see how we go. So there you go, we've just cut it all up and here's the finished uh, cake topper. So uh, what we're gonna do now is just send it over to the paint shop and we'll just paint it, uh, I'm guessing like a black one might be nice on this one. And we'll bring it back and we'll show you some photos. So there we go, we've got the uh, finished one back from the paint shop and there it is there. So we've got nice and you can try and view that like that. Actually what we'll do is we'll just show you the uh, photos of it shortly. Um, so that's how you do it. So to make a SVG uh, file from the Noun project, uh, we've uh, put that onto here. We used a little bear icon and uh, stitched that together with some text to be able to make a little cake topper in through the Inkscape and then laser cut it out and painted it. Well, there you go. So if you liked it, uh, make sure you please uh, put a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And uh, uh, if you've got any other questions or any other tips, uh, any ideas for what you'd like for a, for a new video or another type of cake topper or a different way of putting it together, um, just uh, write it down in the comments and we'll try and make a video for you. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.